Babe, are you ready to see some Halloween goodness? You bet I am. Our Halloween party is tonight. I'm so excited to grab some last second items. And since we already have our costumes, we can grab a few extra for donation this year. Good call, babe. Why wait until Christmas to be in the giving spirit? I wonder what we should pick out this Halloween. Yeah, good question. I was thinking we could probably do the Ken and Barbie thing. Yeah, that does sound like fun. But I was thinking more spooky stuff. Ooh, let's go see what they got. Target Hop? Target Hop! Hello, Hoppers. It's Eminem again. Your favorite couple next door. Come along with us as we entertain, discover, and explore. At your local Target store. This week, we are in Tampa Bay, Florida, looking at costumes, candy, and confections. But you don't have to mask your feelings. Hop on the like button and help us spread to more savvy shoppers like you. Let's get hopping. Tell you what. Chicken butt. All right. You can do this <laughs> hop by yourself. <laughs> I was going to say that Florida has their stuff together. This store is immaculate. Agreed. Babe, look at these adorable Halloween baby clothes. Aw, pumpkins. Those are the cutest. Yeah, and check this out. Bugos. Did I use that correctly? Aw. What? Nothing. Just happy. Yeah, you nailed it, babe. Yes. After that massive candy haul, we don't need a bunch of candy. Right, but for the party, we should lean toward candies that we know our guests will enjoy. I know most people can agree on Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but let's get our hands on a few other options as well. Can't overlook these. The only question is, which flavor do we choose? Mmm, I think the Almond Family Pack is the way to go. Really? I think Peanut is the more broad choice. You may have a point there. Almond could just be me trying to think healthy. <laughs> Babe, it's not for us. I might eat one Almond m and <laughs> <laughs> Then we are getting these, the Variety Pack with no almonds. Okay, so maybe one more tasty candy. How do we even know what tasty candy is unless it's Chalk Zero? It's been so long since we had this. Ooh, look at these, Caramelo Minis. These should be a hit. Yeah, something a bit different, but with some classic flavors. How do you beat chocolate and caramel? With a tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bag of bones. <laughs> Bag of bones. Bag of bones. <laughs> Bag of bones. Babe, please tell me you're making those keto cookies that you make. Funny you ask. Why, yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to eat all of them. <laughs> First thing, let's grab some necessities. Chocolate chips. These Lily non-sweet chocolate chips should be good. They have several different kinds, so we can stock up. Let's grab some non-salted butter, of course. I like the carry gold. It gives you the option. It's also great on steaks and in coffee. Good call, babe. We should grab the baking soda as well. This is from Good and & Gather and for $99. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know this, but uh, it's the active ingredient in sodas no. like Coca-Cola and in champagne. Yeah, there's so many things wrong with what you just said. I don't even know how to address it. <laughs> I need more coffee. Agreed. <laughs> we also need flour for the cookies. Gluten-free for people like me. There's a lot of options out there. This is a popular brand, but let's see if there's a less expensive option. Like this one from Good & Gather as well. I see it's a blend. Yeah, depending on your tolerance, this could be a good option. Some people are also allergic to milk. And I hate rice. Yuck. <laughs> Here's another great option. It's been bleached? Oh boy. Blanched, babe. Elizabeth Devereaux? Golden? Huh? Huh? Girl. <laughs> of course, we are going to have to grab some eggs. Some people like to cheat on these a little. But the way I see it, might as well get extra clean with your desserts. Right. So we're grabbing the vital eggs for these cookies. For the oil, I think we have some options as well. We don't want to use veggie or canola oil. Let's lean into the clean. Avocado oil is great or even ghee. Huh, I know what ghee is, but can you tell my friend he wants to know the skinny? It's clarified butter, just butter that has the milk solids removed. Now he knows. <laughs> the last thing we need is vanilla extract. Seems like it's pretty simple ingredients for this, babe. The best recipes usually are. Babe, check it out. Nice selection here. Yeah, let's see what they have in the way of Barbie. Ooh, slim pickings. There's this Barbie box, which is kind of cool because you can dress up as anything and then place this box over in costume and be whatever version of Barbie you want to be. I'd be Captain America Barbie. I don't think that is a thing. Hmm? Let me say that. <laughs> Babe, here's a Wonder Woman costume. Pretty cool. Maybe we could get all comic book characters. I'll look for Superman. Or we could keep looking. You never know what kids are into these days. Here's a popular one. Ninja Turtles. Ooh, I like it. Fun take on the Turtles costume. I could really see this as a base costume that can be pushed in either a happy direction for the lovers of the cartoon or in a darker direction for somebody who likes to laugh. Ronin. And this is a four-in-one set, so you can choose your favorite turtle. I'll be Slash. Mm, 
maybe we can explain that to your friend as well. Oh no, he already knows. Do you want to know? <laughs> the perfect costume doesn't exist. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, now we're talking. But babe, what if the kids aren't dogs? Aww. Hey, Harry Potter. Nice, but we donated that theme last year. You see anything spooky? Hmm. There's this mummy costume. Pretty neat. I love the classic monster costumes. This one really works, and again, you can embellish it with your own touch. It has a zipper, and it really looks lightweight. You're making me want to be <laughs> matching mummies. <laughs> but there's a lot to choose from here, babe. You like this? No. But this one? No. What about this? Almost. This one? Uh -uh. <laughs> Maybe I should just pick the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> the pickiest person should pick the costumes. I like these two for the kids. What do you think? Yes. Nightmare Before Christmas. They have Jack, and you can even mix and match the costumes. Sally is already a classic and is so recognizable. Almost as recognizable as this hilarious Minions costume. <laughs> yeah, you like it? And here I thought you were too picky. Just need to settle on two more. Okay, babe, I think I got them. What do you got? What do you got? These. That's adorable. A little SWAT team costume helping to keep the city safe. And what better partner to help protect than this? Aw, oh, you found it, Supergirl! I think these should do fine, babe. What do you think? I like it. Although it had crossed my mind to grab a tiny hat and a little suit jacket so they could be J. Robert Oppenheimer. Who? Oppenheimer. You know, the historical figure. <gasps> they made a real guy out of that movie? <laughs> Next thing you know, there's going to be a real Ken from the Ken and Barbie movie. <laughs> Why are you just standing there, babe? Let's get to the house and make these cookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We have a party to get to. Man, looks like everyone enjoyed the food and festivities. And it's great that we helped some kids to dress up for Halloween this year. But I guess that the non-keto guests ate all the keto cookies. They couldn't tell the difference. That's okay, babe. People are making smarter choices. But I really wanted some delicious morsels. <laughs> babe, I got you. Aw, <sighs> oh, babe. Happy Halloween, babe.